And we've got a very exciting show today about Algo, also known as Algorand. But before we do that, Mr. FOMO, we have to remind people to please hit that like button. Please subscribe to Teaching Crypto, the number one new YouTube crypto channel. We want to get more eyes and ears on the show. So please uh, share if you can, uh, as much as you can. Because remember, we're in it with you to win it. Um, I got to start talking about Luna first before we get to our star of the day, which is Algorand. <laughs> 94.2 million left in circulation. There was a burn today of 1.2 million. I know what you're going to say. One went down from 119 all the way down to 80. We're going back up. Just remember something, guys. Yes, there are going to be people that take profits in every coin, but it's just inevitable that it's going to get back well over 100, uh, depending on BTC action. So don't sell your Luna. That's all I'm going to say. For now, do not sell your Luna. Please just try to accumulate. And we're going to just jump into the star of the episode tonight, which is Algorand. And Mr. FOMO, the more he dig deep with his shovel, the more he became an Algo fan. And I'm in Algo right now myself. Um, and so Algo is just an interesting coin because it's one of the smart contracts that kind of gets lost in the shuffle. But interestingly enough, when I first got into crypto, I heard a ton of uh, sports writers that, you know, I, I don't think they were deep into crypto, but they were into Algorand. So Algorand, if you don't know right now, is at uh, 74 and a half cents. Market cap is sitting at five bill, so not bad at all. 24 hour volume, 87.79, nothing staggering. But it, it's one of those that uh, all time high was $2.85. Definitely, if you uh, are a believer like we are, that eventually BTC will skyrocket, <laughs> even if it's not tomorrow, even if it's not next month even if it's not a year from now. At some point, especially by 2024, you're gonna see some major BTC numbers. Getting all go at 74, not a horrible idea if you are a long-term holder. Why don't you tell our viewers why you're so bullish on all go? Well, um, let's start with, let, let's keep going with a few numbers here. Um, they, they've got 168 million in total value locked, which represents about 26% of their max supply and 40% of their circulating supply. Um, all time high, I think is $2.37, uh, and the low is 12 cents. Um, but the things that got me excited when I started to look into this, first of all, you know, we always say, look into the team founder, Silvio McCauley, MIT, uh, computer science professor. He's also a Turing award winner, uh, from 2012. That means that he's one of the foremost minds in crypto and blockchain on the planet. And so starting right there with their founder you've got somebody who is who is already head and shoulders above some of the rest of the people in crypto most of the rest of the people in crypto um recently they achieved 1 million transactions a day they they're at least as fast or faster than ethereum and uh that is according to ycharts.com you've got um and the, the the achievement of 1 million transactions per day was according to coin market cap um, they're a proof of stake, but they've also been given a, a $10 million grant by the Algo Foundation to, be, to develop the London Bridge, which is a trustless bridge to Ethereum. And that's going to provide a ton of liquidity to the Algo network, also according to CoinMarketCap. Um, they just were chosen by Wadspay at Lytica, which is a, an interoperable agnostic blockchain-based payments ecosystem based in Singapore, but they operate in Southeast Asia, South Asia, Middle East, and Africa. Um, so you're going to provide more liquidity to the market or to their network there. And that's according to PR Newswire. Um, they've also got their own Oracle, according to newsbtc.com. Um, it's called Algorical surprisingly enough. 
Hmm. Um, it's going to help bridge the smart contracts to real world data. Um, and as everybody knows, if you don't have an Oracle, you don't have growth. Um, you've got to bridge your smart contracts to real world data in order to make them function. In order to have smart contracts, you've got to have an Oracle. And we see a lot more of these uh, L1s creating their own Oracles now. Um, but they're going to be bringing in new and more complex dApps now that they have an Oracle. And this Oracle is different because it can send and receive data. And this is going to allow cross-chain functionality. Um, it's going to support multiple projects. Um, and they've got a partnership with Glitter Finance um, to yield for yield generation uh, cross-chain. Now, Glitter Finance, that sounds like a nighttime operation. <laughs> does, your, does your wife know about this? I'll talk, I'll, talk I'll, I'll, I'll bring her up to speed later. And then right. that's also going to provide them with a cross-chain NFT market. And then tomorrow at 6 a.m., Folks Finance is going to start providing an Algorand liquid governance. And this is where it's going to start turning into a little bit more like Luna. Interesting. This is going to... Here's a nugget. This is going to increase... Um, the returns for people who are staking their Algorand by, according to folks finance, up to 50%. Wow. They can also borrow, you know how we talked about looping with Luna and B Luna. You can also borrow against your stake Algo and you'll get G Algo 3, which is like a B Luna, right? And it's got a one-to-one -one ratio. So every time algo is minted, it's minted. Every time it's burned, whatever. So the, the, the price is, is the same. So then you can go ahead and borrow against your algo, get some G algo three, and then restake that to increase your returns as well. And that's also going to increase liquidity into this network. There is a ton of, and they also partnered with LimeWire, according to, to, hmm. to uh, CryptoBriefing.com. And then they've also reached 6 million new accounts in 2022, according to Finbold.com. So there's a lot to be excited about here. I, the more I kept reading, the more I, uh, uh, I fell in love with this project. And I know that I've seen it. Um, I happened to be in a restaurant one time watching drone racing because they had ESPN three or something on the Ocho or whatever it was. And, and they were showing um, drone racing and Algorand was a big part of that. And they're also big into gaming. So the more that I, I look into this with a, with a $5 billion market cap, I, I think this could actually be a magical project. I'm, I'm, I'm a big, big algo bull now. I'm, I'm a buyer, especially at these low prices. What I really like is the 52 week low is 67 cents and we're only at 74, well, 74, 6, 74, 5 when we started. And again, um, if you're going to hold long term, you're really getting a good price. Like short term, again, it's all predicated on BTC and anyone who tells you exactly they know what's happening is lying. Because it's like I said, we're in a friendly bear market. It's new territory, but definitely, if you're willing to hold this coin for for a couple of years into the 2024 having BTC, a year and a half, excuse me, you're gonna you're gonna feel pretty good, I think, at getting it at this price. Uh, because the the high all time high is actually in the 280s. I think it will go well past three dollars easily by the next having, but maybe before then, according to your information. So. For me, if you are a long-term investor, I'll say definitely a buy. What about you? I, I, I think, think I know where you're going. Price and, and earlier in the week, I, I'm definitely a buyer. And I think with this, uh, with these kinds of, or with this kind of news coming in, you're going to see the liquidity explode on this network, and that's going to have an effect on price. So maybe it does have a, a short-term uh, jump too. Pretty cool. Absolutely. I, I think yeah. I think this is a good one maybe to pick up now, especially like you said, as close it is as it is to its uh, 52 week low, you're really not taking that big of a risk, not financial advice, but you're really not taking that big of a risk compared to the chart. You know, you're zooming out to mm -hmm. the year, you're seeing point. that price. You're really, you're really scooping up. At a, at a, what we've reminded our viewers all the time. Sometimes it's not what you buy. It's when you buy. So 
buying it now versus buying it 280, obviously a very different experience. Uh, don't want to end the show on a too much of a downer, but uh, Celsius Network was attacked and uh, they've had to kind of redo how they give rewards. Just want to say it is disappointing that uh, in, instead of helping people prosper and get better, some people in the government unfortunately want to make it harder. And I, that's just sad. So all we can say in the crypto community is take advantage of something like Voyager is using with the USTC. Take a look at our codes. If you haven't done so, do some research. Get your 9%. Unfortunately, there is no guarantee it's going to be here forever. But listen, I don't think crypto is going anywhere. I think if the more people stand up and say, hey, this is not right. I want to be in control of my money. I don't want someone else dictating where my money is going. Uh, if enough people stand up and enough people complain, um, you're going to take away, hopefully, not maybe not tomorrow, in the long term, some of the power of these banks and hopefully get it the power back in the hands of the people where they belong. Because at the end of the day, it's your money. You went, you went and earned it. You paid taxes on it. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not a great sign to me uh, that people are telling you exactly what you can and cannot get. It's, uh, I, I couldn't have said it better. I, I really think that the government needs to work for the people here and not for the banks. Uh, it's sad that a lot of our politicians, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, the people that work for the Federal Reserve um, seem to be bought and paid for. I, I wish that they went to Washington to work for them. And, th and this is this is uh, independent of political party. But, sa but sadly, there's just a lot of people that don't care about making it easier for the average person to prosper and move up. And that's and I think that's why crypto is so popular. And I think that's why crypto has a chance to be revolutionary in the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years. So let's just hope uh, more people watch this channel, spread the word. Guys, we'd like to get up to 100 subscribers as quickly as possible. So do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe. For Mr. Fomo, this is AZ Crypto. We'll see you later. Have a great week, everybody. See ya.